G'day everyone, hope you're well. So we're going to have a look at uh, Eddard's, one of their recent releases. They bring out about 25 a month, so I don't know if this was this month or last month. It's 148 uh, A6M2N roof. Uh, it's a Profi Pack Edition. And I've always fancied the uh, seaplanes. We got there the schemes in the box. I uh, had the zero when it first came out. When I first brought the zero out, the first boxing, but I sold that on and but I'll wait for the uh, seaplane version. And then the first one of those to come out was a dual uh, kit, which I didn't want because usually when I build one, I get bored. I've built it, so I don't want to build the other one, so I thought I'd wait for a just a single kit in a box. So we got a history of the aircraft. The uh, sprue trees, uh, parts that you won't be using, highlighted. Colour callouts are in Mr. Hobby and uh, Mr. Colour, so yeah, Mr. Hobby's your acrylic aqueous and Mr. Color is your lacquer. So starting uh, interior the side walls of the cockpit so we're going to be removing details in certain areas to add photo etch and just adding the kit parts elsewhere. Uh, then you're moving into the seat and the harnesses, uh, the bulkhead that holds the seat in the uh, floor section with the yoke and the foot pedals. Um, we got the side side or the front uh, instrument panel there. Again, removing the plastic details. They had photo etch. Oh, that's the side. There's, here's an instrument panel, main instrument panel. Again, mind what you need to remove and you're replacing it with. If you so desire, you don't have to use it. And the fuselage goes together. Well, looks of it, you need to prepare the rudder before you put the halves together. And all the cockpit area goes up underneath, plugs in, and then onto the wings, so cutting holes out if you're loading up a uh, bomb rack. Uh, what up wing yeah. Let's go on there you got. What they're showing there, that how the parts fit, I think, how the upper wing fits onto the uh, lower wing section, I think it's showing how that it needs to fit if we add those other parts in, which would, uh, I guess, foul up the fit of the, uh, the fuselage to the wings. Uh, and then your stabilizers and engine. And the bombs, if you're doing the bombs, and then we're on to the uh, cow. Uh, big call out do not glue these parts. <clears throat> uh, so you're filling in couple of parts on the wing if for certain markings so at this stage of the game you need to decide which scheme you want to do and then on to the float uh, the center line float and then the two wing floats and well, it looks like we gotta add you gotta add some uh, weight into the 
float section so it doesn't tail sit. Yeah, still going, yeah, and then uh, you put fit in the canopies, the uh, gun sight. Uh, antenna, pito, and your uh, propeller assembly, the spinner. And we've got the rack for it to sit on. The, the trolley. Very interesting, very different. All right, let's see if I can butcher some Japanese. Uh, Kokutai 452, Kiska Island, Aleutians, 1943. All right, uh, we got a uh, pilot for this one, Seaman First Class, Takio Maruyama, Aviation Unit, Seaplane, Tender, Kamikawa Maru, Shortland, 1942. Uh, Kokotai 802 uh, Fasi Porporang Base, Shortland Islands 43. Interesting, the green schemes are like mottled over the top of the uh, grey green. Uh, Takuma Kokutai, Takuma Base, Japan 44, uh, Kashima Kokutai, Kashima Base, Japan 1944. That's more uh, classic scenes, not modelled that one, it's just the, the green over the grey green. It's an interesting scheme too, all the paint worn off. And then the last page is your stencil data so you get a mask set which will not take out because it won't show up the photo etch color Get the stencil data. And that is that over there. And the aircraft markings. So uh, Hinamaru, I always just paint them on because it's uh, it's just easy, isn't it? You just got to cut a circle mask. Uh, looks better. All right, clear parts. So, as the instructions called out, you might be using some of that, but it all looks good, as you would expect, because it's only a new mold. Typical new Eddard, you got nice fine panel lines, rivet details. Uh, apologies for the pause there. Uh, wings. Very nice, beautiful, fine detail in them. The uh, 
flaps are one piece. Spring as well. All right. well, the interior parts and uh, uh, wheel well bay, etc., etc. Oh, very nice. So this has got the dolly or trolley, whatever you want to call it, for the aircraft to sit on and the bottom of the main float rudder, uh, seat, bulkhead and our propeller. Again, all very nice. Right, and that is it. Very nice. Like it. We'll build it, but I don't know when. I've just seen lately. I'm full into a couple of bills and I'm getting a big influx of new kits, so it's time to clean the stash out a bit. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so I'm going to add still photos at the end now so you can get a close look at the parts. Thank you for watching.